It's okay, you can skip it. All right, let's do this. Today we have a super simple, no foundation makeup look. So simple, you cannot mess this up. If you're wondering how to do a natural makeup look for school or for work, then look no further, because this is the video for you. I have my discoloration correcting serum here. I got this as a gift from Good Molecules, so I'm going to use that. This is actually pretty good. You're supposed to shake it first. Did I shake it? No. I don't really have any um, discoloration, but I do have some up here, and I feel like it's helped it a little better. It feels really nice on the skin too, like I cannot lie to you. It's like a milky type of feeling. It looks like milk, it feels like milk milk and then up next we have my this is my all-time favorite i should have got this sooner and i'm mad i did not get this sooner but i really slept on this because before i had estee lauder and i thought i really liked that one too and i do i do i feel like it's it's nice it's better for winter but this right here the joseon dynasty cream guys just get it just get it if you have super dry skin like I have. I highly recommend. I have had dry skin for so long, for years, since probably like seventh grade, I have had dry skin. And when I've got this product here, it comes with a spoon, but no, I'm just using my hands. I did wash my hands though, so if that counts for anything. <laughs> but yeah, so I have had dry skin since seventh grade. And not just dry skin, like the dry, flaky like skin, like it's peeling, it's so dry. Like especially in my T-zone area. So like all here, here, like even in my eyebrows, is yeah, is is that bad, like that. So I've always been looking for different things to use. Um, so like I said, the Estee Lauder was really good, but this one, Estee Lauder is thicker. And that's cool, and I always thought I needed something thick that's gonna be able to work. If it's, if it's too thin, it's not gonna work. Cause usually if it if the product was too thin, it wouldn't work. But this Chosen um, Dynasty Cream, oh my gosh. It's so light, it's not super light. It definitely has some body to it, but wow. I really like it, especially for these like summer months down here in Georgia. It's just, it feels a lot better. Like my skin can still breathe, but it still does the job. Up next, we're gonna prime the skin. So I have my e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This, this is pretty decent. It is on the sticky side. It's supposed to be a dupe for, I think it's Milk Cosmetics. They have something that they have on their end. So they did look a little dupey dupe. I don't know how much of a dupe it is because I've never had the milk, their milk primer before. You can get it at Sephora. Um, if you've tried it and you've tried both products, let me know in the comments if you liked which one better. But this one is pretty good. I've, it gets the job done. That's one thing I can say. And I get it because that's like the gimmick. It's supposed to be like on the stickier tacky side. But do I, do I like that? Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's your time to shine. This is it. This is all you, baby. Really is. Couldn't do it without you. So we have the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind. It's an Age Rewind Eraser. And it's a multi-use concealer. I have used it pretty good. It was once up here, but we're getting empty. Will I buy it again? It's not bad. It does have some creasing in it though. I will say that. So I probably want to try something else, but it wasn't bad. Like if you have this, I I wouldn't say I hate it. You know, it's not like, this is the worst concealer I've ever had in my life. It, no, no, no. It, it gets the job done for sure. So I'm gonna put that here under the eyes. 
and then i like to put this on my nose here because i always have like some some red some redness going on here i don't know what that's about so i'm gonna put that there then can't forget the forehead everyone says oh if you don't put makeup on the forehead we could tell when you don't do that we hate when you don't put makeup on the forehead <laughs> it depends on the day for me i'm gonna i'm gonna be so honest i'm gonna be so honest with y'all it depends on the day sometimes i don't put it on my forehead i haven't had any complaints to to my face maybe maybe behind closed doors they're like she didn't have any makeup on her forehead what was that about but no to my face i've never had anybody say anything about it but yeah so under eyes nose forehead all that jazz I actually use a dry beauty blender. It's I think it's just preference at this rate. I remember when um or technically this is a um this beauty blender is from Real Techniques, um but I th I think they both get the job done pretty well. Um, I've had both, but Real Techniques is a bit cheaper, so I mean you can't beat it gonna put a little bit more under the eyes for me because that's very important that's under the eyes I, I really need that to like not look like I haven't slept in four days okay and I get up there real good sometimes I close my eyes just ever so slightly just to get into the corner and if you were wondering what shade I am using personally I I have 130 that is the shade I am using that's it for the concealer. And then after that, what I like to use is, now for me, it depends on the season. If we were going into fall, which we are, I am, I like to do bronzer on my cheeks and on my eyes as well. If it's like the spring, summer months, I like to use a blush. I'm probably gonna use both my brush, both my blush and my bronzer today. I'm probably gonna use them both. I mean, because after all, we are going into fall. So what I am using the bronzer that I have is the NYX Matte Bronzer. That is what I have here. In the shade, it's MBB04. So it's like dark tan. That's the one that I have. So then I just put it a little bit like, oh, I got to get close to y'all. I'm getting up close and personal right now. But I want you to see what I'm doing. So it's like here. And then it's like that. So once again, we'll show you again. It's there. And then it's like that again. You gotta say like there and like that. My hands are significantly like darker than my face in this light. It's like, I got a light here and then this, the sunlight outside. <laughs> but <laughs> it's not that bad, I promise, I promise. In real life, it's not, I swear to you. I don't look crazy in real life. I might just turn down the light. Probably do that. I want to keep messing with up here. Look at it. It's a look. Already. Already, Kyra. Already. Look how pretty that looks. And it's ever so slightly. It's like a nice, just slight natural look going on right there. All right, so for my bronzer, I'm gonna use a bigger fluffy brush for this one, just because I don't want it to come out too dark. I do have a smaller fluffier brush that I'm gonna use for my um, blush, but for my bronzer, I'm going to be using this bigger fatter guy here. Okay, now we got the smaller powder brush here. And this is what I use. So I like the, I've had, I've had this for a while now. You could tell. I really like this one, that like darker pink there. It looks like I haven't touched it, but I swear I've, I've used this for like two years now, but it's just, I don't, it holds up. Like this, this little wet and wild, palette here i don't even think they sell it anymore but 
it's giving you some bang for your buck. Okay, so of course, gotta put the blush apples the cheek. I start there, I circle it, and then I bring it out. So that's how I do mine. Now, I still like a good highlighter. A good highlight. I still do. I still love. I don't know, you know, if a lot of people still do that. If you don't like highlighter, if you don't like highlight, skip it. That's okay. We don't have to do it. But still from this same palette here, I use this um this gold one over here. With my fan brush. If you don't have a fan brush, um you may be okay with just getting away with it with just using your hand. May. All right, up next is the brows. Now, I don't I don't think I can get up close to you guys and do the brows. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry like but what I'm doing you essentially is you know look I already went wrong I felt that that was wrong so what I'm doing um essentially is maybe I can like kind of rotate y'all I'm just filling them in I used to have what they now call brow blindness back in the day goodness gracious but ever ever since then I've realized like hey maybe you don't have to go go in that hard on the on the brow oh what am I using right I am using the Anastasia brow powder duo in ebony please don't use black on your brows please please don't do that okay okay all right that's it that's the only thing that I ask you not to do other than that you know we like what we like. We can do whatever we want. It's our face. It's art. I mean, they call makeup artists makeup artists for a reason. I am not a makeup artist by any means. Um, I'm just a gal who enjoys makeup. But pencil, black powder, I just would not do it. Like this, this one here is real dark. It's darn near black, but it's not it has some brown infused in there and the reason why i say that is because our natural hair that we have is it's not black i don't think anyone i could be wrong there may be like a couple people's hair who is just jet black and then if that's the case you know then by all means but for the most part our hair isn't usually um jet black 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 it's it has some brown hues to it so that can kind of be a lot for the face. It can it can be distracting. And I'm speaking from experience because that's what I used to use. I used to use black, like just hardcore black on my brows. And I really looked crazy. Nope. I, would, I was getting ready to say nobody told me, but I mean, my grandma told me. But I said, what does she know? She was right. She's like, I think that's a little too dark for, for your face. Looking back, she knew. Oh, darn it, she knew. My grandma's not sound like that, by the way. <laughs> but we're not done, because we got lips to go, and then we got mascara. I'm gonna do the mascara first, and then we're gonna do lips, and then it's it. I like to pair these both together. If you don't have this though, it's okay. You can skip it. Yeah, I have recently discovered this, the Lancome Sills Booster XL. There we go. Sills Booster XL here from Lancome. I have recently discovered this. I like this I do it is just a, a base like a primer for your lashes I feel like I don't know if it's just like a um, placebo effect or what but it's also supposed to help your mascara gravel into something a little better so your mascara works even better and I like that I do you are actually supposed to use this while it's wet. So right after you put that on, go straight in. I have L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, tried and true. I can't find anything that beats it. This is my ultimate favorite one, the gold. I tried the black. I don't know, I feel like the gold was better. But yeah, you go in while it's still wet. But still the telescopic is good on its own. Like that's why I'm saying like if you don't have the lawn comb, the telescopic just eats down every time. See what I mean already? Golly! Telescopic! And then I just like to take the corner and just keep messing with the corner so I can be a bit longer. 
just like a math fraction, what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So, got the other eye. It's such a bad habit that I have where I um, put my lash, when I do my lashes, I have to have my mouth wide open. It's cool in real life, but what I've realized while filming, it does not look good. So I, I'm trying to not do it, but it's so hard. It helps you concentrate better. It doesn't do anything though. The mouth opening doesn't do anything, but it just feels so good to do for my brain. It's like a, it's like a mental thing. My brain is like, no, we can't put the mascara on. See, look, I'm talking just fine. My brain's like, nah, we can't put the mascara on, Kyra, unless you open your mouth. Last but not least, this, 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 this is my favorite combo for your lips. The literal best lip combo ever. I discovered this. Oh, baby, we, we locked in. We go like, like this. This NYX, what is this? The Los Angeles lip liner. This is the matte lip liner. And this NYX butter gloss in praline. This is this is my second tube. I like just bought a new one. The the liner, I'm, I'm really light handed on my liner. Um, if you want a more natural look, just put the gloss on it, call it. If you do want to give it a bit more of an elevated look, the liner, the liner. I love this liner real bad. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna trace where my lips are at. You see me going back and forth cause I'm trying to warm it up a bit. Okay, boom. Now here, I like to bring it out. Like this is ugly. Um, Like here, like this. And then give a little bit more here, like that. Just a little smudge, not going all the way in though. Okay, and then we're gonna bring it down. Nice, now we're gonna bring it in here. My camera's gonna die too, that sucks for me. And then here. And I bring it up just some, ever so so. Then. The gloss. I'm trying to hurry up, I'm trying to beat the battery. Yeah. Beat it though. Hmm. And yes, there we have it. Our super simple, no foundation makeup look. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much to Kyra, not this Kyra, but this Kyra here for suggesting this video. It was really fun to shoot. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe where I put out new videos that are like these every Friday, sometimes Saturday. And until then, I will see you next time.